Hey, lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of GTA 4. Oh! Is he selling body parts? Oh, Kate thinks we're cute. Look at her playing with her hair. Okay, so I turned off my Xbox. I, I I hope this saved. I think I left off right after a mission, so it should have, but I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Hey, Nico, it's me. Yeah? Who are you? Can you remind me? That doesn't matter. You need to meet me outside the United Liberty Paper Building in Algonquin. It is very important that you be there. Goodbye. Bossy. You want to take me on a date? Just ask. This building looks like it should be condemned. Alright, so thank you to everyone who told me how to save my car. Um, too late. <laughs> As we all know, I lost it last video. Because apparently... Okay, so I just... Want to make sure I'm I am understanding this correctly. You drive it to outside your building, and if you leave it there, it will not disappear. So whenever I have my car, if I want to go on a mission, I have to park it in the spot outside of my apartment before going on the mission if I don't want to potentially lose my car. I don't think it's worth keeping a car. I think I'm just going to keep stealing them, because <laughs> that seems like way too much of a hassle. If I do say so myself. Francis. All right, we're right next to Elizabetta. Where's the, didn't I just? Michelle's thing didn't pop up on the map as a mission? What's that guy talking about? I was also told that when I call the free it's cab, not to skip it because there's some really good dialogue. So next time I use a free cab, I will uh, make sure to sit and enjoy the cab ride. And I've had a lot more requests to go on friend dates. So I'll do one mission, then I'll do a friend date. I'll try to do at least one per video. Hey, man, this is getting out of control. The police are all over me. I can feel them. So? So, 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 so I'm gonna go to prison for a long time. <laughs> so my life is over. Oh. All this work for nothing, man. Uh, uh, being tough in a man's world. I guess I wasn't so tough, huh? Oh, slow down, honey. Oh, hey, turn states. Everyone's a rat. Not me. Whatever. Open up, man. Who is it? It's the streets, man. Okay, hold on. Jesus! This is what Manny's all about, man. Manny, 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 Manny. Now word out, bitch. You better stop slinging that shit on my streets, yo. We don't want it anymore. Hey, OJ, you catching this? Rolling, what rolling. This, Manny, for fuck's the sake. streets have spoken. Now leave my people alone. Are you Nico? What are you doing here? Oh! <laughs> said he was going to bust the dealer. Can you help me clean this mess up? There's a doctor and broker who can help. Come on. Let's put him in my car. <laughs> All right. Bye, Manny. <laughs> Shit. Let's not hit the cop car when we have dead bodies in the trunk. 
I feel like that's always how they actually catch like serial killers. Stupid things like the serial kill serial killer will have a body in its trunk and then he'll like get pulled over for speeding or some stupid shit like that. I don't know if I need to drive up to this or I'm assuming I do. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, there we go. I've got some bodies in here. I heard you take care of them. Natural causes? Of course. Seems like a bullet in the head is as natural as it gets at this time. They weren't sick, were they? No. Got a few problems with sick bodies. No one wants a liver if it's riddled with tumors, huh? Know what I mean? No. Is he selling body parts? Looks like the bullet went right through this one's eye. And the price of eyes is through the roof at the moment. Fine. Can I leave you with these or what? Sure. I'll have these organs out on the street in no time. They're gonna help a lot of folks. I've been trying to help the streets his whole life. Maybe he'll actually be good. <laughs> he got what he wanted, that's for sure. Okay. Three thousand dollars for delivering dead bodies? Shit. All right. The doctor has that stuff. God, one last thing to bother me. The heat is closing in, Nico. This particular party is ending. Okay. Well, you'll figure it out, honey. Okay. Oh, I said I'd call a friend next, which is perfect, because this is where all the dates are. So, um... Let's... Uh, let's, let's call up little Jacob. Excuse me. No one is too busy for my friendship. I want to hang out with Brucey. This is Brucey. I'm pushing it to the max. Rolling deep, baby. Leave me a mess. All my friends are too busy. Well, fuck. I tried. How dare they have lives? You can't have lives if I'm not involved. Um... No, let's go hang out with- let's- let's go see- um, fuck. I don't know! I don't know what to do! Um, 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 um... We'll do the- okay. We're gonna do this on no call. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's see... Oh! Ladies, this is Roman Bailing, but I guess you already know that. Wait, is that okay? Hold on, hold on. That's why. Okay, I get it. Um, let's see. Should we go play darts? I was doing it wrong because I'm a moron. Jacob, you want to play some darts? Yeah, man. Yeah, sorry, man. Come back about two o'clock. Sorry, man. What time is it? What? What time is it? Dude, ha. You mean to tell me it's one in the afternoon on a fucking Friday. And I'm gonna lose relationship points with little Jacob for calling it one in the afternoon on a Friday. Y'all are on some kind of drugs. I just heard it, it's fine. Who's calling me? You and me did some work for Elizabeth and Torres together? You mean I saved your ass? Well, if I'd have known it was such a big deal to you, I would have asked you to let them kill me. Anyway, if you're in need of extra funds, I'm in need of a good man. Come over to Mama's on Savannah Avenue in Meadows Park. I'm always in need of money. See you there. 
Okay. Oh, perfect. Let's do that because we're right here. And apparently I can't catch a ride. <laughs> we're gonna run. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Frogger. Bunker Hill. I probably just wasted like 10 minutes just doing nothing. World's best GTA 4 playthrough, baby! Freaking little Jacob. All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's gonna judge Kate? What would she win if they did, Virgin of the Year? No. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Fuck you, Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho oh, ho, there he is. Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. Oh, Kate thinks we're cute. Look at her playing with her yourself? hair. Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister, lovely lass, scared to bits of life, and fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Oh, I know who I'm taking on a date next. Bye. Just saying. What a girl. I think she likes you. Words oh, I know she does. So she don't put out. Which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. Packy is not what I was expecting. <laughs> In the slightest. We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. Hey, yo. Well, we'll take this one. Okay, there's a ship coming in and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east, but we don't know what it is that they're bringing in exactly. All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Bacino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh yeah, Ray Bacino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Jesus. Depends on what you think is fun. A stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, maybe. The general population, I'm not so sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe. They do things different there. Not so much of the fun in the shower that you guys have here in the man. Oh my god, oh my Must god, have been people. a real disappointment. But a guy like you thought he was gonna be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you gotta do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chased European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. Ah, I'd be fucking touched. You'd be touched if you did some time, that's for sure. <laughs> they would see if they'd be able to touch me. I got some moves. You're a good man, Nico. I like you. Not in a fun in the showers kind of way. In a, a male bonding about to go rob some people kind of way. I think I know what you're saying. Okay, those drivers on that bridge, I do not know what's happening there, but that was a little chaotic. Oh. Shit. I wasn't checking my mini-map. I was distracted because I was wondering if I could turn a turn signal on. 
Probably not, but that would be that would be fun to do on my driver's ed driving video. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. Oh We're shit, I meant way. to go to the gun store. Fuck. <laughs> One of these days I'll remember to stock up on bullets and armor. Today is not that day. Follow me, Nico. We'll dump your load. Oh yeah, we will. What? Excuse me. This we are not Ezio. This really wasn't made with us criminals in mind. I think I'd be doing this today. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no! Come on, ain't you fit enough for this work? I'll get here on my own time. <laughs> I was having jumping problems, okay? This is where the deal's meant to be going down. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. All right. I'll cover you from up here while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful. Based off the people, it seems like they're all married to in this game. I'm sure they are. I missed what it said about climbing down. Jump down there, man. Have at him. Okay. We're just going to go this way. I don't know if I should be crouched or what. Should I be killing these people? Yeah, fuck it. Probably didn't. Probably just gonna ran for it. This is much more satisfying.
Okay, it's a freaking cardboard box. I should be able to shoot through it, you know? I didn't see that guy, but I saw his arm sticking out the wall, so I just started shooting. Get in, Packy! Come on! All right, Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. Okay, I'm not even trying to turn this thing around. So we're going, Come on, we're going the wrong way, pace. up a one way. Because that's easier. We just had a shootout right next to the freaking police station. They don't care. Let some druggies kill themselves. Let's work for them. Oh, fuck. This truck is so slow! I don't know if these trucks are bad people in them, but they're driving like morons, so I'm just gonna run off the road. They're taking this real serious, aren't they? That's a lesson I've learned. Fucking Bixino said it'd be easy. You think I enjoy it too drunk? What the hell? Hey, some Chinese you here already? There's a bunch of grenades here. Pass some up, Becky. I'll give them a taste of their own fireworks. No, I won't. I'm driving. I should have backed off a long time ago. When in a vehicle, you can cycle to the grenades in your inventory by pressing X. Just did. Get in there! <laughs> now they're gonna forget about us because we're in the garage. They're just gone. They just don't care. Yeah, they made it. Might as well forget about it. The stuff all in there. Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. A lot of wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men get a hold of those, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. <laughs> Who's this? That's my boy Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. Nico! Come over here! You work for these mick bastards. Fucking guinea. <laughs> I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey! I'll catch you around, man. Do you guys remember that commercial? It was the Viagra commercial, and the old guy, he was like an old Italian guy, he accidentally dropped the pill at the window and went bouncing, 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 and then it went like went into like a Mini Cooper or something. Do you remember that? That was the greatest commercial of all time. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, I love when they, I love when one mission ends and it's like right next to another mission. Um, I would go to a, a gun store, but you know, the mission's literally right here. So we're just gonna go there. <laughs> All right, where am I going? Not that way. I wish Hello? it was on the minimap because it looks like it's really close. Nico, I'm getting worried. Roman didn't get back at all last night. He likes to party. He stays out late the whole time. You know what he's like. Not on my watch, he don't. Something ain't right. Freaking gambling, man. Hey, Excuse me, sorry. We need to have an intervention. Have a nice day. Uh, oh, hey, uh, Jimmy.
Jimmy, how you doing? Uh, come on, Jimmy, uh, let's go to my office. You guys said he's related to Packy? Hey, Chief. Uh, hey, Mitch, looking good. Gastric bypass worked out well for you, I see. Yeah, thanks. I'll tell my therapist about you. Tell him my boss keeps sexually harassing me. Oh, yeah, you wish. Uh, I could oh, my God. You? No. Uh, oh, the motherfucker thinks she can drag me down. What's wrong now? Oh, man. He's like, what is it wrong? Sure. Listen, uh, where to begin? I don't know. Let me put it like this. If a guy makes a mistake, should that ruin his life? <laughs> People don't understand how life is. Life is like a, a bowl of fruit slowly rotting in a hot hey, kitchen. I don't give a fuck about the life lessons, friend. What do you want? I'm a good guy. I, he's got it all wrong. He's got but one stain on my character, and I'm finished. I want to make a difference. What? Uh, <laughs> some lawyer. This big white shoe firm thinks he's a crusader. Some morality cunt who takes photos of guys in the shower at the gym and then jacks off on his wife's face. Hey, some... enough. Enough. Sorry. Look, the guy's name is Tom Goldberg. Thinks he's got something on me. He's gonna go to the DA with it. Use it to get into Congress. Okay. Yeah. So, it's him or me. And it might as well be him, right? But, he's hard to get to. Guy's got a bodyguard, limo, everything. You're gonna need to get one-on-one -on -one with him. Not in the showers. Not the showers, <laughs> a job interview. Then, you can steal some files I need. An interview? Sure. It'll be easy. You're an immigrant. They're almost legally bound to interview you. <laughs> oh my god. But, uh, get yourself a suit. Okay. I'll email you the details. You're a good man, Nico Bellic. A good man! Uh, coming from you, that means a lot. <laughs> Nico's like this fucking city man. Go to an internet cafe. Time to go to twat. Twat. It's an at sign, so I feel like it'd be more of a twat, not a twat. Anyways, semantics. Um, which, I don't fucking know which one to go to. Let's. Let's 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 go to this. We'll go, we'll go here, and then we'll go to this one over here. Sorry, my nose is like randomly super itchy. Taxi! What? Pull over! Thank you. Shit. We're going to Bismarck Avenue. Thank you. Oh my god. Uh, where is the store? Nope. Hey man, this is a clean business. No trouble. All right, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to cause trouble. All right, what I really want. His armor. Five hundred dollars. Shit. I don't think I need to buy any new guns. I feel like I feel like the guns that I have are pretty versatile and pretty good. We have We've got a lot of bullets for that. I think I'm okay there, too. Molotov cocktail? I don't know if I need that, either. Oh, we do need... Mm -hmm. 
Let's go to our internet cafe. He turned his right turn signal on and turned left. We need, we need to go, go to Oneida Avenue. That's how they taught us in school to know our lefts and our rights. You did but I'm one of those here. people. I'm gonna flick you guys off for a second. Not because I'm trying to flick you off, but um, I've always been self-conscious of my hands because I am one of those people that grips my pen way too tight. So I have a, I have like a callus thing. One of those, you know, one of those nasties on my finger. So whenever I needed to tell my left and my right, I would just feel where that is and then I would know. My favorite <gasps> Hi, honey. How you doing? I've missed you. Long time no see. Anyways, when I was in elementary school, I went to a little Catholic school that had like kindergarten through eighth grade and there was like 10 kids max per grade level. <laughs> One of those. And in fifth grade, that teacher was literally psychotic. And she made us do so much homework and so much writing that this formed and never went away. Anyways. Dear sir, ma, family. Ho, may the blessing of the almighty God be with. Probably you might be wondering who it, is it that is writing you this letter. Relax and be blessed. It is a friend from pointclickshipabitch.com. <laughs> I joined Club in Star when I was surfing through the net. If there is organization that links people of the world together, except from all this dating stuffs, alas, that when I was found and joined the club, and since then I have been trying to get in touches with you. You are the first person or family I am writing letter to. Therefore, let me start by introducing my name, Lenova Vodkalini, and I Russian. I've always been a victim of circumstances since I was born. First, that I have enormous breasts, and I don't know what to do with them. I really want to click on this. Listen. What happens if I get this computer a virus? We'll, we'll try at the end. We'll try at the end. A business opportunity. Greetings, Bellic Nico. We had a vendor who can supply. I offer 5,000 US dollars just for referring a vendor which is reliable in providing. Contact details of vendor required. If they turn out to be reliable and supply the equipment, I'll immediately pay you 5,000. One 800 horsepower jackhammer, mind warper generation four dimensional warp generator. Series which wrist, wrist watch tiny time with 80 gigaram or better memory adapter fuse. If in stock, the module contained the induction motor. Shit! Michelle was working for someone? Fuck! I don't know what to say. See you later. <laughs> you set me up with a man, and you set me up with a cop. Maybe you should give up the matchmaking, you moron. <laughs> Nico, listen, thanks for doing that. I didn't think you'd mind dating a guy after all that time in the Merchant Navy. Brucey is really grateful. He'll be a good contact for us. Anyway, listen, I know you'll be mad, but I've had... But I've been having a run of bad luck. The thing about luck is it changes, so maybe you can bail me out? Nothing crazy. Think of it as an investment. I hereby make you a minority shareholder in RBE. I'm the CEO. We're in business, cousin. Dude. You're a moron. Stop gambling. You don't have bad luck. You have bad judgment. Yes. Well said. Nikki boy! Found this website called... VIP luxury ringtones. You can drop some major dollars on ringtones and themes and shit. Bro, whenever you bring out your cell, bitches are gonna know how fucking money you are. Shit. When they scope my lats and they hear my VIP $100 ringtone, they know that Brucey is alpha. A high roller like you should check that shit out. 
All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to butcher this. I apologize. Most dra Draji Sine. Yep, killed it. Thank you for your email. It made me cry. At least you are well and happy. I know you cannot live here and be well. I hope happiness finds you. Look after cousin. He is good boy. I dream of both of you settling down with nice women. It is what his mother would have wanted as well. I will write soon. I don't want to. I want to respond. Francis McCreary. Nico, you might want to look at Goldberg, Linger, and Shyster. There's a job in the recruitment section that I think you'd be perfect for. Have a killer interview. Nikki boy, you seen this zit shit yet? You dial blah, blah, blah on your phone and it tells you whatever track is playing in the background. Okay, I don't give a shit about that. I guess there's room full of geeks in some warehouse listening to all the songs or something. Who gives a shit how it's done? It's awesome for impressing the bitches in the clubs with your music knowledge. Not that my cut abs, bulging pecs, and monster-sized bar tabs don't impress them enough. Not where I thought he was going with that. Not where I thought he was going with that. <clears throat> you get me? Alpha. Thought a player like you would appreciate this stuff. Hey man, could be useful. I'll try it on your radio ad and see if it can tell the steroid pump. <laughs> Fanaticist just talking. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I'll check out the site. Thanks, Brucey. Anyways. Um. The firm. Partners, case files, careers. Let's go get ourselves a job. Click on submit resume. Scroll down and submit your resume. Career objective, to rise to the top of my profession in Liberty City. Experience, Bellic and Bellic, attorneys at law. <laughs> Partner, involvement in criminal law, particularly cases of manslaughter, homicide, drug dealing, extortion, racketeering, and grand theft auto. Launched and successfully tried cases against corrupt individuals, including division heads and company CEOs. Dealing with emerging markets in the West Indies, particularly Jamaica and Puerto Rico. <laughs> Instrumental in the trading of commodities from those emerging markets. Streamline the company by making difficult but important redundancies. <clears throat> Now that is how you spin your resume. Mediterranean Shipping Enterprise, Associate Attorney, drafted immigration documentation and accelerated customs procedures for clients, worked with many European markets, including Balkan states, Italy, and Russia. Balkan Peace Force, intern, worked in war-torn areas to assist those most badly affected, settled vital disputes with clinical and decisive action, compensated for lack of experience with enthusiasm and a willingness to learn. Education, Vespucci University School of Law, Juris Doctor, class rank top 1%. All right. Captain of the shooting team. <laughs> Bulford University, United Kingdom, International Relations. We have a master's degree. Nice. First class degree, blue for boxing. Skills, people management, coping with cultural differences, athletic ability, shooting, boxing, running, swimming to a professional level. We just can't swim while dodging bullets, as I learned. Interests. World affairs. Importing and exporting goods. Free market competition. Damn. All right. All right. Let's click on this totally legitimate, not at all, sketchy link. <clears throat> Point click ship a bitch dot com. Look like a player in 24 hours. Women were never so easy. Wait, she looks like who's working the front counter. I'm getting off the site. This is sketchy as hell. Delete this. Okay. Need legal help? Sprunk! I think we're good. Log out. Bye, honey! It was nice seeing you again. Bye, Nico! Bye! I can't stand this waiting! Alright, now what? 
now back here. Let's go see what this is. I've sent off the application. I've always wanted to be a lawyer. You can be whatever you like. It's the land of opportunity. Any fool can become president. Call when you hear about the interview. There was like a million and one tax cabs earlier, and now there's none. Automated reply. Our offices are currently closed. Your query will receive our fullest attention at the earliest opportunity. All right. Cool. Let's go hijack a car. No, you damn light! Ugh. Wasn't well, quick enough. Oops. Why is nobody answering the goddamn phone? Why do I feel to me? nothing? You're gonna litter? I'm gonna steal your car, bitch. That's what you get. Pick up your damn cup. Hey, what do you want? Saw this liberty, 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 liberty. Saw this liberty tree story about us and them triads at the Fisher Market, Fish Market, when I was looking for some hot amateur shit online. <laughs> totally killed my heart on. Gotta change my homepage. Thanks for sharing, Packy. I'm so glad that I learned that. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Break! Nico, what's this I hear about you running with Patrick McQuarrie now these days? He's got work and he's a good guy. You're not planning on taking him down, are you? Lay off him. For me. I'm not planning on taking him down. He's my damn brother, you idiot. Patrick <laughs> McQuarrie, Francis McQuarrie. It's all starting to make sense. I knew Irish families were big, but I didn't expect to run into brothers in the place the size of Liberty City. Yeah, just thank the Lord you ran into Packy and not my other brothers. Packy's just a hood, but Gerald is into some serious shit. And Derek, he's the worst. If that asshole ever comes back from Ireland, I can't be held responsible for what I do. My brothers ain't no good, Nico. Trust me on that. You know what? Me and Packy get along. Maybe if doing what you do is good, then I want to be no good instead. I should meet the other McCreary's. Be careful what you wish for. Mr. Lair and I are seriously looking into moving to Ireland. <laughs> I'm not in the business of caring about people's feelings, bud. Yeah? Boo fucking who? Hey. Hi. Hello, traitor. Listen, I know what you must be thinking, but don't bother. I'm sorry, but I don't see how you know what I must be thinking. I was you mean to you, you bitch! You should be dead yourself. Or inside. You're just lucky it was me and not someone else who got their hooks into you. I'm sorry that I lied to you. And, and weirdly, in some ways, you're a nice guy. <laughs> Thanks. Creeps I normally date. But oh, you're so damaged goods. Do you think? Uh, no doubt. Let's go. Bitch. Call me damaged goods. In here. Salute. Eat my ass, buddy. I'm up for the promotion, and you're not. Okay. You, you broke my heart, Michelle. What the not, hell are we doing here? We're not, going to okay. meet someone. Sounds fun. You know, you and your cousin. You should get out. What you're looking for, you won't find. Feds are all over it. Crime is done. You've watched too many movies. Whatever you say, Michelle. Or whatever your name is. It's Karen. My name is Karen. No! And you whore for the government. 
I kind of like the honesty in that. I have a clear conscience. How very lucky for you. <sighs> in here. Her name's not actually Karen. Hi there. Right? There he is. I can see that. Thanks, Karen. Ah, oh, fuck. Hey, cheer up. You did good. You'll get a Sammy if you care about that sort of thing. Thank you. So, Mr. Belik, quite a fire. Her name was not Karen in GTA 5. Who are you? If I be? If I be? Do I look homosexual? Oh, Jesus. You think I care about the size of your Johnson? Now, you can't always tell who the good guys are. I'm not a good guy, but I'm fighting with them. And guess what? So are you. Hooray. That's the spirit. Nothing like a bit of sarcasm when someone's got you by the balls. Now, I need you to find something out for me. Find out everything you can about a man called Oleg Minkoff. He lives on Iroquois, back in Hove Beach. And if I say no? I hand your file over to those cretins in the FIB, and organized crime has dealt another serious blow. Go to his house. Any problems, call this number. Hmm. What's your name? Not relevant. Call me. Very soon. Go. Oh. Mr. Nobody over here. Uh, hey. Welcome to America. Welcome to Oscar, New York. Oscar de Jura. Bushka. The fuck was that about? It's been waiting for you. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. Oh. Rip to that car too. They don't let you keep her, keep any cars for more than two minutes. It's a new soundtrack. She does not even care. She's like, I see this on the regular. Oh my god! to this Great. Now it's stuck in my head. One of these days, I'm gonna sing for you guys for real so that you know that I have a better voice than my joking voice. Don't know what that voice was. That's my inner Ursula or something. I don't know. I do miss singing though. I miss it a lot. Poor Baby Light has to listen to my serenading pretty much every day as we dance around the kitchen while I cook dinner. That's all the singing I get to do these days. Besides when I sing for you on these videos. This car is so slow. Oh fuck. Rewind. Be kind. Rewind. Watch that car yeet itself off the bridge. Watch out. Missed my exit. Thank you to the person who told me to slam on my brakes so that my head flies down. Appreciate you. Thanks. I would want you to. Oh, that. Oh. Now that was a car. I liked that car. I was also told of a street where there's like infinite number of cool cars, but I don't know where that street is, so. No cool cars for me at the moment. Mr. Minkov? Anybody here? What have you 
got for me? Not much. He keeps a clean house, he's got a computer. Check his email. Call back with any information that would indicate his current whereabouts. What was that noise? Lies? Damn lies. Oh, like, come on, you're acting crazy. You aren't being watched by government spies. Your phone isn't tapped. You don't need to drink that bottle, bottled water or eat from those tins because no one wants to poison you. Please get that into your head. Anyway, of course I'll meet you. I'll be outside the jewelry shop of Tulsa Street later on. Vasily. Dear Oleg, I can't give you any more of the information you want. I am emailing my contacts in the Caspian and keep getting reports that the addresses no longer exist. Also, the companies you want info on seem to be owned by umbrella corporations, which are owned by even more umbrella corporations. Tracing the money, I reach dead ends in either the Caymans or Switzerland. Sorry, I cannot help you further. Dear Mr. Minkov, it has come to our attention that you are attempting to publish a manuscript rife with inaccuracies and salacious allegations. A client who wishes to remain nameless will pursue a case of defamation of character should this manuscript ever be published. Cease and desist your endeavor. There's an email that says he's meeting someone at Tulsa Street in Hove Beach. Perfect. I'll send someone to pick up the hard drive. You go to Tulsa Street. Eliminate Minkoff. Whoa. Killing is very different from gathering information. You are acting in the interest of your new countrymen and keeping yourself out of prison. For once, this is a murder you don't have to feel confused about. Dispose of Minkoff. Then call me. Um, is that who's supposed to be the washing machine? Василий, спасибо, что пришел. Олег, ты испугал меня. Я даже подумал, что это человек. Пос... Все, он меня дожидался. Пока, братан. What? How did he know? Oh, fuck! Sorry, dude! Ah. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. This is just going great. This is just going great. I forgot how to drive. trying to smash him into that car. It didn't work. It did not work. He was too speedy for me. Where'd he go?
This road is blocked. Back up and go around. You. What's the fucking hold up? Asshole. Apparently. Every time I get close, he turns. I know when I edit the driving and stuff out of this video, it will be under an hour because I'm just at an hour recording. So I apologize if it's a pretty short video today, um, but I have to get three videos recorded. So I only have an hour recording time for each one. So unfortunately I do have to stop there. Um, I had a whole list of things I wanted to talk about and now they're just all gone. Just gone in the wind. Um, okay. So, Michelle, Karen, her name was Karen in GTA 5? I feel like it wasn't Karen in GTA 5. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. Um, thank you for all of you who finally got me to remember the part where we saw her in GTA 5. Um, Cause I was not remembering her at all. I could not for the life of me remember, but a bunch of you wrote it down very succinctly like this was the scene this is what happened and then I was like oh yeah I do remember her I do remember her but I don't think her name was Karen was it I don't know that doesn't sound right but I okay um Packy is not what I was anticipating based off the first time we met him I I like him um his he definitely has a very a very similar sense of um comedy that's not the phrase but you know what I mean uh as Nico I feel like they're gonna be thick as thieves <laughs> um and it's cool now seeing um Packy and Francis being related I wonder if we'll see other brothers as well since they were brought up but um you guys kind of told me ahead of time that they're already already related but the fact that the game kind of made that connection for us too is is nice um I think I'm gonna like working with Packy uh, and it seems like we're already pretty good friends. The fact that he just texted us about his, you know, whacking off habits. I mean, I'm not a guy, obviously, but I, I feel like you just met someone. You don't necessarily talk about jerking it right away, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Please don't tell me in the comments. I don't want to know. Um, but you know, th there's that. So apparently he likes us a lot. So <laughs> Yay, friends! <laughs> um, I tried to go on friend dates with a couple people, but n nobody wanted to go out with me today, apparently. So that was kind of sad. I'll try again next video. I don't know. Obviously, I was doing it wrong the first time. I was trying to just call them and not, like, select the actual, like, date, for lack of a better word. Um, but then even when I did that with little Jacob, he was like, dude, it's too early. And I'm like, dude, it's one o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday. Like, what the fuck? 
Get your ass out of bed. Hello. It's not like I was calling him before noon. Anyway, so that didn't work out for me. But I will try. I think now that we are friendly with Packy, I'll try to do stuff with Packy next video. Um, thank you for all the advice. I had recorded last video already. Um, that was kind of where I got to when I had done my pre-recording. So um, I have seen your advice now. Um, a lot of you asked me to go on the friends dates. Obviously I tried that. It didn't work. A lot of you helped me with the Michelle thing. I'm trying to think what else. I think those are the big things. Reminding me to go to the gun store. Did that. If there's a gun that I don't own that you think I should buy, let me know that too. Because I feel like the guns I have are good. Um, and I also feel like I have no issue getting new guns whenever I'm on those missions. Um, so I think when I go to the gun stores, I really just want armor and ammo, but let me know if there's something else I should be doing there as well. I think that's everything. I had a lot of fun with this video. <laughs> I just love the, like the chaos of GTA 4. Um, and I'm excited to see what happens with our relationship with the non-FIB, FIB guy um, that Karen introduced us to. Um, kind of reminding me of the whole Michael situation in GTA 5. I'm excited to see what happens. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day.